What up everybody, it's your boy this my sneakerhead in the house coming with a brand new video. I know it's been a minute since I said that, but before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell on the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. <sighs> I know y'all, it's been a long, 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 long time since I posted a video, but I'm kind of at a crossroads when it comes to YouTube. So I just wanted to let y'all know, give you an update. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm completely ad-libbing this. I'll also have a pickup too that I'll do at the end of the video. And I'll leave the timestamp below for, the, for when that pickup will be in case y'all just want to skip all this. But basically I haven't made a video in about four months. Probably three, between three to five months I haven't made, yeah, about four to five months actually I haven't made a video. I'm just kind of at a crossroads. I've noticed with YouTube, obviously there's tons of sneaker channels. I've met tons of great friends, actual friends because of YouTube that I text with, I meet up with, you know, look out for me, I look out for them, etc. But YouTube's changed so much that it's kind of turning me off. So I really don't know if I want to keep on doing my channel because part of me wants to which is why I'm doing this video now, but then part of me doesn't because I'm not the type to have the flashy drones and crazy editing. I keep it to the basics. That's just me. I don't have the time for that. And I just don't want to invest all that type of money into it, but I do enjoy giving good content. And I feel you can do that just by being yourself still. But uh, it's uh, there's just so many more YouTubers. I'm seeing YouTube. My channel hasn't really grown much. I can't lie. When you see that, I do it for the, for the, I've done this for the love of kicks. I still love kicks. I've slowed down a little bit on pickups because I'm, you know, putting my money towards other lifelong type purchases, but still been getting pickups, including the one I'll show you later in this video. But yeah, so <clears throat> there's so much that's changed with YouTube that it's kind of turned me off a little bit. Like I mentioned before, I wanted to keep this channel going, but at the same time, just seeing all the BS that happened with the clickbait, you know, the, the craziness where it's like people having, uh, having like buying likes and buying subscribers and doing all this. And the clickbait, as I mentioned, is the huge issue now. So everything is easy this, you know, easy that. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Nobody's really being pure. I mean, a lot of people that I subscribe to, they're genuine poor. Um, I mean, not poor, but genuine pure. They've been straight up. They've been busting their ass to get to wherever they're at. You know, former Simpsons, Yo Antes, you know, T Blakes, you know, Kick Genius, you know, all of those people. You know, Bullet RC, Tony D2 Wild, my man J Star, Jumpman Bostic, etc. The list goes on and on. And then I've made great friends like Diaz Dan and, and, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, like Pino Ice Kicks and all these other, uh, all these other channels and Eddie Wynn and all that. But so I still follow them hardcore and there's a lot of great channels out there, but it's gotten really saturated now. And with all the different changes with YouTube, growth for my channel has been incredibly slow. I mean, I haven't even cracked 3,000 subs, and I've been doing this three years now. So, and I understand everybody's different, and you know, certain people have like the better editing and all this other stuff. But I just try to keep it pure, have fun with you guys, and that's why I'm at a crossroads of if I should continue or not. Because I do enjoy the few the people that have been loyal, that have been saying, "Yo, what's you know, smart sneaker? What's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. Everything good? Everything okay? Getting texts from other YouTubers." YouTubers, you know, and Zane Kicks, Heat Ledger, Diaz Dan, a whole bunch of other people, Pino Ice Kicks, you know, um, Red Feather Gotti, a whole bunch of other people that have been checking up on me, and I appreciate that, but I just don't know what I'm going to do. Even after this video post, I don't know if I'm going to do another video. I don't know if I'm going to try another strategy and keep going, but I'm just at a crossroads now because YouTube, for sneaker channels especially, has gotten so saturated, so fake so you know so like scripted you know what i'm saying so the fun of it is gone you know a whole bunch of other people have talked about this tony d you know um 
you know, Rob Dollars, a whole bunch of other people have talked about it, but it's just gotten so scripted. Like, everybody's trying to do this thinking they're going to get free Jordans, free kicks from champs, you know. And I'm not about that. If that happens to me, it's because they see what I did and they want to reach out to me. But I never got into this to get free kicks, you know. And I salute all those that have gotten it because they're doing something that causes Jordan brand and champs and Foot Locker and all these different places to and finish line to send them shit. So I, I truly appreciate them for that. And there's no hate at all. But I just feel like so many people are trying to get into this you know, you shoe tube game, looking for free stuff or for free partnerships or sponsorships, and that's not what it's all about. I did this for the love of kicks, and that's why I've kept myself going with it for so long. But now I'm just kind of a little bit fed up with how YouTube has changed a lot of their policies. I've noticed videos of mine, I barely get a hundred likes, I barely get any comments. You know, and before those same videos would be at least for me 500 to a thousand likes which you know is not a lot I would love a lot more but for me that's a lot you know what I'm saying so a lot has changed so, so, as, even though this is a surprise to many I have a mon uh, monetized my channel so it's not like I'm making any money off YouTube I'm strictly doing it just because I enjoy doing it so just seeing all the changes you know it's just just weird the dynamic from YouTube to the fake channels and what I mean by fake are all those that have 200, you know, some people have 150,000 subs. They didn't work for it. They either have clickbait, they either buy likes, things like that. Unlike people who I've mentioned already who've been busting their ass or have been grinding, you know. And I can, again, there's tons of people, channels that I left out that I do follow that are really working hard to do it. Jacques Slade, Rich Kicks, Rich's Kicks, all these other great channels that I'll continue to follow. And, you know, I would love to get to that level one day where I'm doing this full time, you know, opening my sneaker store, all these different plans that I have in mind. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. I know some people want like an answer, like, am I going to keep going or not? But I really don't know. So with that being said, folks, this may or may not be my last video. You'll just have to wait and see. But if it is, if, if I do decide to shut down my channel, I'll do one final video, maybe do a crazy collection video or something just to kind of, you know, send myself off in the sunset, so to speak. And, but I'll still be watching YouTube videos and I'll still be, you know, chopping it up with all my great friends and sneaker fam that I've met through the years as a result of this. But anyway, folks, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I could go on and on. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is, folks. But before I go, like I said... I do have a pickup. Most of you probably know what this is, um, but this is a grail of mine. Um, I do have other pickups too that I just haven't shot videos for, so maybe if I do decide to keep going, I'll do a recent pickups video to show y'all some of the kicks that I got. Most of it's not hype. I struck out on a lot of kicks. I mean, any I haven't gotten any Yeezys yet. Um, all pretty much almost all the the Jordan ones I've struck out on except for one pair which I'll save in case um, I do decide to do my recent pickups video but and I'm starting to be on the hunt for my grails like I want to get a pair of Pan uh, Paranorman foam posits that's like my unicorn status right there same thing with a couple of the DB Jordans but that is what I'm gonna be on the hunt for next year are those Paranorman foams which are crazy. I think they're still about $2,500 and I just refuse to do that. So whether it be me selling some kicks to get it, including some some crazy trades, I'll do whatever I can to get those. But I'm shifting my focus. I'm trying to, instead of me copping all these new kicks, I want to try to get older kicks. Like LeBron 7s, I want to start collecting LeBron 7s, even though they're almost all crazy expensive. But that's my favorite LeBron line and I want to start getting into that too. But See receipt from Nike, as we all know. Jordan box. And obviously, there's been a lot of people that have been ripping the quality of these bad boys. So, I'll give you my take real quick. Ah, oh, man. We have the True Blue Threes, man. Ah. Uh, grail status on these kicks for me like 
I've, these are my favorite Jordan 3s, more than the black cements, more than the white cement, even though those are grails as well, but these are my all-time favorites. And I'm finally glad I was able to get these for retail. Um, I did double up, but I'm returning one pair. I just realized I'm going to just wait because I know there's some of them are already starting to hit outlets and they're sitting like crazy, which I predicted because anytime you got this Nike Air Brandon now, unless the um, unless there's certain ones that everybody wants, like when the black and white cement threes, which are s rumored to release next year, when those drop, those will sell out even at this crazy 220 price tag. But that 220 price tag is definitely to deter people from buying them. And I know some people are like, oh my gosh, that's ridiculously expensive. But ask yourself this. If these sold for 190 and they sold out, I guarantee half of these people who are saying they would not get it would be willing to pay 250 300 for a pair. It's crazy how it works. Everybody's like, oh, I'm not paying 220 Just like the Metallic 5s, which I absolutely love. The Cement 4s, even though those sold out fairly quick, there were still some places you were able to pick those up. And they've done numerous restocks on them as well. And I'm like, wait a minute. You, I'd rather pay 220 plus tax retail than pay 250 to 300 or 350 for these on the reseller market. Because if these were 190 like any other Jordan, people will be selling them for at least $100 more. So I'm very happy that I got these. These are grails. Super happy to get these. In terms of the quality, my tongues look perfect. I know a lot of people had the B gray tongues where it's all uneven and wrinkly. It's perfect. Um, in terms of my elephant print, let's see here. Ugh. It's it's so so. It's it's nominal. Like if you look, man. My right pair elephant print looks pretty bad. It actually looks really bad compared to the, here, let me show you guys here real quick. Peep this. As you see, the right pair, let me see if I can zoom in. If you look at that right pair compared to the left pair, you see how the right pair, which is right here, is slanted like a mofo. I mean, completely slanted compared to the left pair it's a lower too it's much lower but you could really see it here where the right pairs elephant print is much lower than the left pairs and it's completely slanted which is weird looking like but the elephant print itself looks good. There aren't any like uh, gaps or missing colors or uh, any cracks like in the actual elephant print portion here. I've seen some like a uh, good friend sneaker addict. He had a huge chunk missing from here. So my pair minus the elephant print is pretty good. But in all honesty, folks, we gripe because of the videos we make. If this was five years ago, you get this shoe from the store and you're rocking it when these are on my feet no one's gonna care not even me so unless it's like a blatant 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 terrible ass you know construction i'm not gonna complain about it i do wish the leather was softer but hey what can you do i was hoping this would be much softer leather much more tumbled than it is you know this feels like true blue three and infrared three uh, quality um, even though I love both of those kicks as well anyway folks thanks for tuning in I really am sorry I've been going for all these months I miss all my sneaker fam and those who, who have my information I'll still keep in contact and I'll just you know let y'all know if I decide to keep doing this YouTube game but with that being said it's your boy the smart sneakerhead and a brother is out peace